Hi, I'm Magic Ben, and today I'm going to present and teach a trick for you. Now, I don't often teach magic tricks um, because I feel the, the magic is in experiencing magic, and you lose some of the magic when you, when you uh, are, find out how it's done. Uh, and that sensation of wonder and surprise and amazement is lost when you learn uh, what the magic trick is about. But um, I've performed a lot of magic tricks on my on my channel, <clears throat> and uh, I'd like to also just share some of my my passion and love for magic uh, with with uh, some of you, the viewers. So today I'm going to perform something and um, and teach it to you as well. So uh, this trick is called that special year, <clears throat> and uh, everybody has a special year in their life. They have special moments in their life, and there are stories and milestones in your life that are important to you. So maybe it's a graduation day, a wedding day, um, a birth, <clears throat> or a birthday. So there, everybody has some, some special years. And um, coins, of course, have, have years as, as uh, associated with them as well. So now I'm just going to do this trick with three coins, but you can do it with many more. And there's also many variations to this trick. So I've done variations of this trick, and believe me, it, it hits it hits home and it's not hard to learn. Um, so I have uh, three coins with me. This is a, and they're all different years. You want to emphasize they're different years. This is a 1996 coin. This is a 1978 coin, <clears throat> and this is a 2016 coin. Um, and I have here just a normal deck of cards. So you can see it's a. Normal deck of cards. <clears throat> Nothing special. In fact, I'm give it a shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> right. And um, to emulate a, a a person randomly choosing something, you can mix the coins up however you like. Um, I'm just going to use a die here to emulate that a person. You're going to ask them to choose any one of these coins. They'll have different years. You could have them put in a in a bag um, and 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 sort of jingle the bag and have them pull out a coin as well. But I'm just gonna I'm just going to um, roll a die to emulate that uh, a person has a free choice to pick whatever coin they want. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're gonna pick this coin, <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna actually just uh, find that special year. Um, from the cards on the coin they chose. All right. So now the coin they happen to choose on the back of the coin is a spade. So if we look at the spades, um, the top spades, <coughs> they are um, two zero one six. And look at that. That spells your year. <coughs> but now, um, what if they had chosen um, <coughs> a a another? Uh, thing. So if they had chosen the middle, um, the middle coin, um, this coin has uh, the Jack of Hearts next to it. So you simply just reveal the top card and it's the Jack of Hearts. And what if they had chosen the third coin? Well, the third coin is just a third coin. It's just a normal coin. Uh, but it has the year um, 1978 on it. And you say, <clears throat> now in... Um, uh, in cards, you, you do what's called burning the top card. So this, this puts the jack of hearts um, down or to the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> and let's say, let's just reveal the top four cards of the deck and look, it's 1978. Okay? So this is in magic what's known as a three-way out, um, meaning that uh, you can, uh, through multiple different choices, you have different ways to, you have th three different endings uh, based on what gets chosen. And like I said, there's many possible variations of this trick. I've done lots of different variations for this trick. Um, you could just have uh, a single um, a single way to end the trick, um, but in that case, you'd need a way to be able to specifically pick um, a coin all the time, which you can do. So you could mark a coin in some way. Um, you could also use a double-headed coin, that sort of thing. The only other thing um, you'll need to know, I performed a, a false shuffle. Uh, so, which is a very easy false shuffle. So basically, you need to you need to keep these top cards uh, um, unchanged in the top of the deck. So uh, I'll try to do it slowly. <clears throat> when you do the shuffle, you just need to make sure the, those top cards. I'm exaggerating here. So you just need to make sure those top cards are are uh, preserved. Okay. 
Um, so this is a, it's not a, what's called a self-working trick. In other words, um, it could go wrong, and, uh, but it's a pretty easy trick to do. Um, so, so, so you don't have to shuffle the deck, although it, it helps to shuffle the deck. You don't have to fan the cards, but, <clears throat> um, you know, it helps to show that all the cards are, are normal. And there's, there, you can't show the back of the coins, so you, you end in, in what's, in what Magic calls, you end dirty. Meaning that, you know, after they pick the, the, the coins, you can't, you know, you can't show all the back of the coins. Um, but, but trust me, this, this trick, uh, is... It ha can um, hit big. It's pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to learn, and um, try it out. I think it's it's not hard to perform, um, and you'll amaze your friends and family. Okay, I'm Magic Ben. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.